we are in the match server. But yes, so we're underway. What is up? Welcome to Griever TV. This is our UGC Highlander coverage for tonight. And we've got Get Yom or Get These Yanks Off Me, who also have an OzHL team called Get These Puffins Off Me, versus Ark. And uh, as we get down to the middle, we've got a little wee bit of lag on my end. But looks bit of like a bomb are... here, Demo V Demo, but both survive. Just taking out their sentry earlier, see Prototype falling to Rubos. Rubos quite, uh, well, it's quite the heavy. So far though, Ark kind of over in one corner, a couple of roaming players over the side. Blue players are starting to drop, and of course they are playing one down by the looks of things SDI, so this is not going to be good for them. Mm -hmm. And it's sort of showing early on, but at the same time they are keeping their own on the middle. But um, that one player disadvantage, which is a heavy. Mm, okay. Um, I have to apologise for the HUD bug just then, people. This is not the Griever TV HUD. We haven't got a version made for Highlander yet. This one that we're using right now tends to bug out quite often. My gorgeous Reds made uh, GTV HUD for sixes uh, never bugs out. It's perfect. It's amazing. But anyway, so I'm watching Jono at the moment because he's one of the standout players from Get Yon. Oh, look at that Rubos down. That's heavy. Oh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my... Uh get my prototype fixed and see what he's gonna do. Whoa. Nothing. Ooh, bit of anti spy action. Yeah, Woodfox is down. See Keek trying to get in here and deny this Uber. Keek being pushed back. But there's a, there's a deficit of uh, blue pl of uh, red players right now, so blue pulling it back even though they are a player down. Four times cap on that point. We see Source has got lots of stickies up on that side. Oh, big, wow. big ambassador headshot by Prototype player. Let's see what Woodfox is going to do. They should have noticed and pick up that ammo. They should also notice him slightly moving around. Our control point is being captured. Let's see Prototype getting rid of a tally porter. Woodfox does have his sight set on the spot on this uh, sniper down. We see Kitten just putting damage in. Oh, look at that. Can take out some coin than uh, the medic for the Arc team. Oh, one, two, Woodfox, Woodfox. Oh, they think Bulk's coming to play for them. Sorry, folks, he's not. No, no, Bulk's ours tonight. Oh, wow. Ribcage getting a really good headshot on Light Slover 3000 right there. Bar pushing it. Three times retake over here. Kitten though, with that direct hurt, pretty dangerous. So Red will <laughs> Red will now push their way into the uh, next way. This disadvantage will uh, will show itself. I'm I'm kind of amazed that Get Yama actually managed to get a little bit forward. Yeah, someone's just saying streams unwatchable for them. Twitch server's not doing too good where they are. Um, this vlog will be up on the YouTube later on tonight, so uh, yeah, you will be able to check it out there. Do you actually know the story of why uh, Get Yom are missing a player? I have no clue. I uh, wasn't able to get in contact with them. I figured they were just going to go live. They, uh, yeah, they're, they're waiting on PPJ, BPJ. No idea what's going on. Yeah, they I was going to say that's definitely one of the core players from the Sixers team they're missing, so. I would have thought they'd have uh, some form of backup for this. Jono. Uh, does doesn't look like it's mad in the though, because uh, Kieran is just cleaning up with that directive. Pretty much, man. And look at that, even Jono just watching him now. He's just getting flare after flare after flare. He's crazy. Yeah, I, I fancy myself a bit of a pyro, but uh, yeah, he's got me beat convincingly. Yeah, man. I come across him in pub sometimes, and he's just absolutely destroying people. Like, this must be his favourite pub class or something. Of course, a lot of people do play their, uh, their so-called pub classes in Highlander. Sorry, ignorance of the uh, Sixers player right there. Uh, yeah, anyway. You bad Sixers players. Hey, if I could main heavy in Sixers, I would've. <laughs> Bulk has oh, evolved into Million Monkey. Very nice, very nice indeed. That would be prototype down, I would imagine. Dead Ringer does go off. Keep going down. Very nice direct hit. And oh man, he's going to get the shotgun out. Oh, he should have reloaded his DH. And now the engineer. Look at this Uber NG. You do not see this every day, folks. I need to retake the point. Medic has been left there with the soldier. Spy coming in to try and clean this. 
Medic possibly gonna go down, is that a shunt? Shunt is a soldier. Yeah, uh, Finn, they're getting a really nice little mini sentry just hidden away behind them, just catching them off guard. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Scout from behind on Saw. So much damage there. And the heavy low as well over on the side because he took a He's hit. He's though. Oh, well, yeah, Girardi could not get that pipe off. Oh, uh, you still got a hit when they're Girardi. So, uh, Woodfox, while we're talking, while you guys are talking, is all the way back, but there is a spy, <laughs> spy battle going on now. He's just getting behind them. Right, we've got a five times cap on this point. Ark is taking it back, and so far, people, we have not seen a single round go yet. Um, imagine if Gityom had another player, I think we might be watching a different game. Because BPJ would play Scout, wouldn't it? Which means they're missing uh, on yeah, the yeah, wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they're mopping And, and on a large map like this, I think a fast mobile class, like a Scout, it's, oh, it's, it's pretty useful. Yeah, little on the capping power of a Scout. It's not that bad, because you can run a pain train on your demo and your soldier. I mean, that that does help, I guess. I imagine on a map like this, they're probably running it anyway. Well, I'd hope so, anyway. <laughs> Um, that's something I will have to take note of actually. See what they're doing. But Ark trying to defend this choke here, and they are going to be able to use that pyro and they're going to be able to push oh, back. Oh, Woodfox, Luba. unlucky. Oh, what Tries another backstab on the uh, heavy, but just turns around at the right little moment. Need to get some damage in here. Guillaume could be in trouble pushing into the middle of all these fresh players. But we can see they've only got four up on the red side. Soldiers are going to come up from above, he's going to put some damage down on James RB if James RB is not careful, but they're going to be able to get up, get in his grill, cause so much damage. Made it up though for uh, Ark, and they've got a lot of spawners streaming into the point now. Indeed they do, oddly enough... Do look like they might get the cap though. Oh, they just stood off, they should have stayed on it. Uh, John's probably actually going to get it anyway. The old walk on the point and use the... Uh, use the... Use the force, force. Here's the force, push them away. Uh, and uh, Kieran, Kieran wasn't running the pain train because I saw him on the point there and it was only uh, two times with him in the pyro. Got it. Um, I think their demo was able to back out of there and get some heals, uh, possibly, which is surprising. I thought he was going to get absolutely munted there. And see that sight line of the sniper? I'm going to quickly take the camera over. He's just he's oh. just been kicking down from there and watching. He's got amazing sight lines. Crux has gone off though. How many people did he get? Just one stuff. One, just one. Was that a crits or was that a pe uh, was that your own? Uh, no, it wasn't crits. It was uh, just a Gerardi. Yeah, that's what I thought. You're right. It's such a sterile world. Uh, sterile world. A sterile world. <laughs> well, 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 well. But I'm the sick. Well, we'll see. Prototype has uh, uncloaked in front of a player. He's gonna be back and get some stuff. What fuck? Somehow still alive. I'm loving, I'm loving this pyro keeping the, uh, the uber at bay cake that is, just pushing them back. Prototype going to war with a scout at the moment, uh, not looking too good for him though. James got of, he's, he's got, got a lot of players chasing. Ooh, Bar with a big, big headshot. But as I said, all those players chasing, uh, chasing protos, given uh, the rest of get some uh, good chance. Uh, BPJ connects, so there's the uh, ninth player. Nine minutes, nine players. Mmm. Go. I also just noticed the prototype player has suddenly switched from his usual uh, knife to the bicycle. Look, and the, they're about to run past each other. Spies have run past each other. Woodfox, however, does not want to go. Oh, oh the back gets that backstab. Yes. <laughs> Cleans up uh, Kieran as well. Oh, rip cage. Very nice work. Ark, then El Magico is going to go down as well. Lots of damage from Rubos here, he takes a 150 hitch. Oh no. Wow, well, heavy too strong. So, BPJ just joining up. There we go, that's nine players for get some. Are we going to see a change now? Time has been added. It would be interesting to see how the whole dynamic changes now that it is uh, it is even because look, Getyom has actually managed to keep it all at bay during the uh, during the disadvantage. So 
Let's see, but who knows? And, uh, but we are uh, 10 minutes in with no cap, so it's been pretty neutral so far. Yeah. Not, no team really getting the better of it. See, Although, BPJ, uh, though, say, get some of our positions. Yeah, BPJ, there's two players already just lining up those meat shots. Just watching on his cam to see what he's doing. It looks like he's going to come from behind, go for a play here. Oh man, Hibby going to put so much damage down on him. Is he going to be able to get out? I imagine he will. Hibby is not chasing. BPJ has managed to find the pyro. He walks into him and he gets taken out. Not much of the way of blue players alive right now. Kitten, not strong enough. So Ark, a surprisingly, uh, surprisingly proficient Highlander team in the face of a very experienced Sixers team with some, yeah, with some friends. Current uh, OzHL title holders at Indeed. that. Yeah, at that. This is a big opportunity You're pushing with full Uber advantage. They're starting to lose players though, they, they really need to get in there quick. What do you guys think about the fact that Kieran incessantly runs the direct hit and hits like, you know, the number of shots? Ah, uh, it's a fun one. <laughs> I, find it, I find it funny, last night we had the yellow dart playing Solly and uh, also oh, electing God. the direct hit. She, she <laughs> was just crazy though, that girl, her aim, oh my god. I think as, uh, as a soldier in Highlander, it's good just because it gives you the opportunity to kind of one hit single off, yeah, one hit things and just basically blow someone up. Because you're generally not alive that long as a soldier in Highlander. Well this is a fair point. Oh, Medic isolated here for uh, get some. It's gonna go down. Good pick by Ishanu. Good pick, Ishanu. Oh, 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 Proto! I can't get a camera on him. I can't not get a camera on him. And he oh, got, yeah. oh my god! <laughs> he's too strong. Every, every time well, we don't watch him. Oh my god. And he's dead ring it. The scout is gonna get him though. No doubt about it. Uh, no. Nah. Oh, well. Well, look at God. this, get some, oh, oh, Pause. Thing. So, hang on, so get you on played with A players, but Rubos is, well, I suppose he's entitled to his pauses, isn't it? I wonder what this pause is in aid of. Ah, oh, Ribcage has left the game, he is timed out. So here's why we're in the pause. Uh, how many teams are actually signed up for um, the Australian UGC? Uh, last I checked, it was 16, 18. So, a decent whack. Is it the same amount for the Oz Highlander, or is there more in UGC? Um, I actually think it's about the same at the moment, isn't it? Uh, isn't it Stice? Somewhere. Beg your pardon, sorry. I was, we're just saying, how many teams are there in the Australian Highlander League versus UGC in Australia? Right now? Um, there are um, 20 teams in uh, OzHL. Um, I don't actually know. I think 16, 12 to 16 in um, UGC. I haven't checked the numbers recently. Yeah, I know there's 16. I thought there might have been 18. But either way, as we do go live again, there's still a really good effort given the UGC is brand new and it hasn't had much of a presence down here. So it's good for them. And it's good for Highlander all over. I mean, these teams are getting to play twice a week. Yeah. So watching Ishano up on the right. What is Ark going to do is they try to push this last point. It's not the easiest one to put. Got, got my eyes on Woodfox. Watch, what, watch this. No, <laughs> unlucky. <laughs> okay, just got to pick on the medic. Oh, oh my God! How did he miss that? Get get oh, the second one. Yeah, the, the first time he had a fully charged body shop, so he'd be, he'd be gutted for that one. Yeah. Yeah, he seems to be a bit hot and cold actually, based on some of his hits tonight. But looks like they're going to go in for the top. Uber has been popped. Trying to find someone to watch. Alright, the control point is being contested. Good work by Get Yom. 
Lots of players up, but they've done a pretty good job of cleaning up so far. I suppose that's another good thing for Kitten coming out with Ooh, his... Oh, James B gets, gets hit by the ball, but uh, gets away. Lucky. Two times, and that's cat back up. Are we going to see this match end with nothing? Are we going to have to go to Golden... Mm, I'd... Mm. You know I mean? You never know. 15 minutes in, still no caps, and uh, yeah. it really is. It's a hard last to push off, and it's not really that hard of a last to push out of because it's, it's yeah. a short distance, and there are pretty, pretty visible chokes for it. I think we all discovered that when this map first dropped, even in the pubs, and it was just like, oh my god, pushing last, like yeah, pushing from one end all the way back down to the other, and then back down to your end again was like, it, it was bread and butter common, which you don't see on most maps. So many dead get you on players right now though. We see Source pulling back up. He's going to lay down some stickies and I imagine he's going to be trying to save his life. Keep himself up. Because they are certainly going to need him on last point. Players coming up now. Woodfox we see here on the point. Getting that cap up. They got all players up on the red team. Prototype and Jono down on the blue. And Woodfox is going to be pushing in. Trying to get some positioning on last. Go for some sort of pick. Oh, Scout all over him. Scout too strong. Not going to be that easy start. Ooh, a rib cage with a big pick there on, uh, on Kirtan. And uh, no, most definitely not. So, having a look, actually 28 teams signed up for UGC Highlander Australia. Only 13 competing, in the, uh, competing right now, though. Yeah, I can only count the green light at the moment. Kieran holding forward, trying to oh, give a bit of defense. I haven't had a look, has anyone got eyes on Woodbox? I want to see where he is. So I see Prototype's got back out. Oh uh, yeah, he's, he's up on the... He's jumping in now, actually, oh, making a play, but he's he's been spotted, they know he's here. He's going to keep my Still eyes on Prototype. Still might be able to get a on the Sentry, though. Oh, Sentry goes down anyway. Oh, wow, yeah. And Sentry he's actually down. created some havoc behind the players. Oh, Prototype! How did... Oh, oh dude. Oh. Uber's in though, um... <laughs> Sayron hitting some big shots here, but just not anything loaded. <laughs> Gets a bottle. I think we might be gonna... Whoa. How they defend that, managing to pull it off. Yet again, still no cap, absolutely crazy. Look at this spy out here, doing his best on the point. Good positioning there by uh, Rubos, uh... Kind of holding off on the top right, and as soon as the players push into the point, he just pushed them back off again. Get some still want to push this though. Yeah, staying on last on this map probably uh, probably isn't the most comfortable position. They want to get back out there. They need to get a push off. Most definitely, and I mean, look at you. Yeah, I'm just keeping them back, keeping them back. I'm doing Fox a good job of behind. keeping spam up and just not letting uh, get something to the point. They do have Uber now though, so they might try and use that to push. But it doesn't look like it, they're just sitting back at last. Woodfox with a very clever piece of play there to take down that sentry. It should uh, calm things down just a little bit. Just a little bit. So Light Slaver does have Uber. Squana is coming up on Uber now. So I imagine in about 15%'s time we're going to be seeing a push because Ark will be wanting to get a point on the board. Oh, and Siren's going to be able to get the sentry gun. Obviously not the best positioning for the engineer right here. Well, not the easiest to defend anyway. Siren's not actually going to be able to come in and help as they try this push. He's way too low. We've got the counter pop from the blue team, and they're going to drop down and lay havoc. That heavy is going to get absolutely rickrolled, and we're going to see that there is just pit and well, there's just pieces of Ark players everywhere. Only ribcage and pickle up. Oh, pickle. Oh, pickle. He ran into He wanted a back cap, but he uh, <laughs> ran into a rather large, fat Russian man. Yeah. You know what they say about large, fat Russian men? Um, oh, no, I hope I don't. No, but uh, we did just get a message earn <laughs> on this map. <laughs> oh, the foundry achievements. 
And uh, Jono getting an item out of that as well. Uh, oh yeah, the full heat of steam. I remember that. Is that uh, an NG hat or is it? Um, I think it might be a multi-class hat. I'm fairly sure it was like a hat something to do with this update. Oh, and poor uh, Squan here. He's cut off from his team and uh, yeah. going huh? down there to Verminator. And it seems Jono's just... not the only one. Anyway. Oh no, so that was Jono. Um, I thought uh, Pyro had spotted another Pyro with the same colour, the not happening. Just being captured. Sentry gun down, Woodfox down, now Magico down. Get Yom has managed to push off their last successfully and they're going to be able to get middle as well, folk. They've got some players forward as well, but they've lost both of them. BPJ and Verminator are down. Oh. They usually have a one player advantage, so they still will try to push into second here. And Kierton's just uh, shutting things down with his uh, direct hit at the moment. See Wood Fox, he's gonna go for a pick on the sniper and he's gonna get a prototype, however. Waiting for his opportunity up top. Waiting, waiting. Not gonna happen. Thor's getting some good damage off, but he goes down just as he walks out the door to a nice headshot. Got a pretty good defense here. Fox is gonna get the sentry. No, he's gonna get absolutely brick roll. Him doing a good job for sentry equipment. Now Magico is gonna fall to Kevin. Is it Kitten Kieran? What's his bloody name? It's, it's just Kieran. It's just Kieran. But just it's Kieran. Spelled like with numbers and stuff. It's just Kieran. Oh! Wow. Everyone calls him Kieran. I'm pretty sure his name in Mumble would be Kieran. Kitten. But yeah, Kitten's pretty good. People have been telling me it's Kitten. The control point is they're trying really? to confuse me. Yeah. I, I, I think they're having a laugh. Oh, I think it's worked pretty well. Prototype yeah. trying to pick at this heavy scout on the. Oh man, surely the scout's gonna. This is really this well. is gets some chance here. Um, a lot of players down. No engineers set up. It's the chance to push last, but. Pirates With that point being so thing. capped, they, they're so worried about the back cap. They are looking to push in top here and they've almost got Uber. Engineer only just up now and he's uh, just putting up a mini sentry so it's not going to be a level 3. So let's have a look at the time people, there is 8 minutes and 25 seconds left. Yes, we haven't seen a single cap as the Uber comes in and the Pirates... A reminder, these are halves by the way, Griever. Ah, uh, this is true. Mmm. Spanner in the works for you, mate. What do you mean, spanner in the works? Oh, I'm kidding. Come 9 o'clock, we will be in an owl server. No, you will probably give us 15 minutes. We won't be starting right on time. Because mm. neither team's actually had a scrim to warm up, so I imagine oh, we'll be. Okay. No, no, no your, your, vo your vocal cords <laughs> instead. Yes, nice. Mmm. Yep, it's going to be absolutely great. Uh, for those of you wondering why I'm uh, quiet tonight, it's because I'm a bit on the sick side. Sorry about that, people. And, uh, wow, Ripcage picking up a nice headshot there on Jono, who was so busy trying to lay out his uh, trajectories that uh, he didn't see the sniper. Come back for a second. And the, the Kieranator with, uh, I was once called the love child of Kieran and Verminator. Mm. It's a bit odd because I'm pretty sure Kieran has a twin brother, or at least his brother looks exactly like him. Uh, that being Bar. Things just got a bit odd. So and they both play sniper. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Runs in the and family. Pretty good at NDF as well in, uh, in the old MG. You know what they say about good with their hands. I'm sorry, Stai, really? <laughs> <laughs> no, Push is looking good by Gets. I mean, uh, players are getting cleaned up left and right. Someone really yeah. needs to get on the cap, though. Oh, they've just got Uber in time. Uh, they've got respawners coming, so they might be able to hold this. Huge plays by Ark. Uh, looks oh, like they're going to hold uh, this. Oh my god! Ark getting a double. <laughs> Unlucky. Great hold by Ark though, uh, good timing with that Uber. Magico down, 
I mean, yet again, we're just... The, the, it's that last point. Neither team has been able to successfully push it. That's the closest we've seen, and we're, what, 25 minutes? Yeah, I think that was about the closest we came to a last cap. Zero. Whoa. So, Pickle going down to a source pipe. Interesting uh, sentry placement here. Uh, looks a little bit in a spammable position, but it might work out for them. I suppose. Yeah, I mean, because if the demo sees it, he's going to be able to take it out. Yeah, it? well, that's the thing. No normally, you have it in that kind of that bottom right corner where you can kind of defend it a little bit easier. Yeah. Oh, he is, he is moving. There we go. I suppose in most of the positions here, like, you really got a trade off between what can the demo get to and what's actually going to be able to damage them. I'll have to check out some platinum level teams and see what they're choosing to do. But it looks as though they've come in with the pyro and the medic. I love seeing pyro ubers, they cause so much carnage. It's like an ubered roadblock. It just pushes you back. Look, and Medic in with the scout. So much damage. They're all over the heavy. Is he going to be able to finish that heavy up? He's going to get taken out by the soldier. Spy, oh, however, the with the big backstab on Rubos. We've got the Sniper up the top. He's going to get taken out by Siron again. Get some repushing. They, they do have Uber, though, and they've got oh. respawners. Oh, oh they're going to have to lose height. So many respawners. Demo above, but they're getting it. Clutch Uber there, Bolt, probably stopped them from taking as much damage as they would have. Yeah, get them again though, they look like they want to push in. Trips and drab. Well, I think they just feel as long as there's no sentry, it's just uh, it's just easy to walk in. They've got their sentry, they should get the soldier, not quite. James RB oh, going the heavy down. Goes down. Wood Fox, wow. So we're about ten percent away from uh, another Uber push here by uh, Get Yom oh, if they man, elect oh, to go does he get it? No <laughs> prototype almost picking up the medic squad there. Unfortunately for him, Rubos two G. They just need that magical push, or they get a few early key picks. They're gonna separate them. Pyro's gonna run into the heavy. He's getting so much damage in on him, but somehow still alive. He's actually gonna go down and spawn camp. We see though Ark getting a few really integral kills there, and the engineer will go down. Red uh, Red Uber has been popped though. Wondering when they're gonna Uber in the demo. Squine has a large Uber advantage as well. I'm honestly surprised uh, that no one's tried crits. I haven't mm -hmm. seen a single crits this game, and I just think that with how stalemate it's been, you know, walk in with the crits, you might die instantly, and you might kill four or five players. Yeah, exactly. You never know, I mean, it's, it's worth a shot, considering no gone uh, eight minutes without a cap. Two minutes, 38 left in this half. See Giyom getting ready for their push outside. Looks like they're going to get into position. That's a good pick. Ashanu, the soldier, is down as is Woodfire. Ooh. Ooh. And that sniper rip getting out down. of the tree. <laughs> oh. I thought for a second we were going to see the demo fall straight into the foundry, but On no. the point, on the point, on the point. Scout on the point. Two He's times kept. Ah, oh, it's so close. They're just going to collapse on them now, though, if they can just get one yeah. person. Yeah, here we go. Here the heavy goes heavy. down. Oh. oh. One foundry fall. The good <laughs> round's going out. I think that's fair. Uh, 28 minutes of a that, good that, round. Yeah. That was a fair round. It's not over, though. This is the first half. <laughs> Indeed, we're going to watch Rubos on this rollout, see what he does. See the, uh, the soldier whipping everyone out to me. <laughs> oh, 
I'm oh, really just that. monstering them. Nice. Must be feeling mad. Though, I, just, I just don't think there's going to be enough time in, uh, in this round to actually cap it all the way out, because it, it is a pretty large map. One minute left, very large map, very stalematey, and just not quite enough of player advantage, especially with Karen taking out Siren and Ishanu just then. And Keek going to get taken out. And uh, I'm sorry, Reaver, but I'm actually have to leave you now because I need to spend the next 15 minutes playing some TF2 so I can uh, not suck tonight. Yeah, try and get your team to draw things out or whatever. I would really like to be in there when you guys start. Uh, message me if everyone is in the server or whatever, so when we'll just yeah, come no right straight in. I think it's whatever Termo's booked, by the way, so yeah. But what? Termo booked a server, so I'll just go with what Termo's got. Oh, yeah, yeah, just connect Mal or whatever when you get a chance. I'll do it now. You're, you're solo casting Whoa. for a little bit. Yeah, no, that's no problem. See, Prototype there getting a really good backstab on Ashanu, getting the energy equipment, and all of a sudden, Giyom getting so much damage there. Look how many players were just absolutely destroyed there. Pickle picking up BPG, but not able to get more, and it looks as though we are into half time. Hopefully, they're ready up straight away to increase our chances of being able to catch this entire game. Probably not going to happen at this stage. 10.47, my time, and the Owl fre uh, Frenetic Array game is going to be on in 15 minutes. This is not good. Rup, rup, rup. Medic's got to sort out ping one sec. Oh my god, you make baby Jesus cry. So yeah, if you're just joining us on the stream, what is up? Welcome to Graver TV. We're in halftime right now for UGC Highlander Australia. Of course, um, this is Get Yom. We'll get these Yanks off me versus Ark. And Ark doing really well tonight. But get some getting that getting that really important cap. Map is being changed. I'm back in. Looks like Light Slover might have an SSD as well, because he's in as well. Sty has an SSD. Oh, oh, Sty indeed does have an SSD. Are you in your left Sty has your, two. You've got two? What? Yes, they're connected in a RAID 0. Sorry, yeah, RAID array. Mmm. And yet, I'm so fast. They're pr older. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Oh my lord, I just checked my website and there is like a. M oh my god. You should see this. Um, There is 25, almost 30 spam bots in my new posts. On, on uh, NZ Fortress. Yeah. Hoo hoo. Yeah, but somewhere, in, somewhere between 25 and 30. Haven't checked it in an hour and a half, 25 spam bots. Alright, I'm just going to jump into this other server because I need to find out what... Uh... Yeah, that's no problem. We'll yeah. probably be heading over there pretty much bang on 9 o'clock.
Not too sure what's happening in here, still waiting on people. We've got full teams. Who has Archon? Not I. Righto, not entirely sure what's happening here, people. Um, we've got both of these teams in here. They both have all their players. Looks like Rubos is calling ready. Um, we are going to have to head off um, to go to this other match that we uh, have to definitely cast in about 10 minutes. But until I absolutely have to go, I'm going to stay in the server and keep casting for as long as possible. So. Uh, we'll catch as much of this game as we can, and then I've just got word from Red Rum. Um, he is recording STV for this, so he will hook me up with that, and I'll be able to cast the second half of the game. So we're going to do what we can here, and then the VOD on YouTube is going to have the rest of the game, folks. But yeah, so we are on the rollout, and it uh, doesn't look to like there's been any changes within the teams. Everyone is still as they were. And we'll go and see what happens on this rollout. Look at this. Demo's duking it out on the top. They haven't been able to connect the pipe first. However, the red demo does have height advantage up there by himself. Pickle does go down. That's the red scout. We see prototype Vermin and James RB down. So that is heavy and Verminated down. Uh, that spy is actually still alive. That was a dead bringer. Three times cap on the point. And Rubos is all over this, folks. Five times cap and that... Pyro behind is not going to be able to do much. Kieran going down with a big headshot. And then Barr taking out Ribcage. So um, successfully uh, regaining the honor for his brother who was so brutally taken with a headshot. We're doing the same to the person who took him out. See this blue Uber has not really come to anything. Squone is in some trouble. Going to be able to get out. Who knows? Engineer all after him. Oh, wow. I'm going to run at the three players. That's not going to happen. We're probably going to see blue players jump all on this point. However, it wasn't quite capped. So it actually means it's going to take them ages to get the cap down before they can start capping it. Umbrella is down and going to come up in just a sec. Pickle and Squone just coming up. And with four times cap on this point, get you, I'm saying this is ours. For those of you wondering, in the first 30 minute half, there was only one cap, which happened in, uh, I believe, the 28th minute of the game. And that was get yum, we'll get these yanks off me. Prototype is down, Woodfox in position for a pick on the medic. What is he going to do? Duck behind here, obviously. He might get seen running back over there. What is he going to do here? Seen, oh man, surely he's been spotted by that scout. Oh, <laughs> Look at this, just hedging in bar. Didn't actually get the kill on him, but was able to slow him down. So the rest of the players were able to get him. Woodfox backing up over here. And saw so much damage output from him. However, he's very low right now. If they hit me to walk through again, he is going to go down. Woodfox, yet again, Spires just playing that waiting game. And he goes for the face there, but he takes out James RB. Wonderful work there. Woodfox not quite able to get out of there, but a heavy for a spy. I think that's a trade right there, folks. Squone and Rubos going down. Really, really good pick by Prototype Player there. Seron managing to avoid projectiles from Jono. And Malchiko setting up his engineer equipment. So as the blue team pushes in here, they want to get a cap on this point. They really don't have player presence right now. They have got the, uh, the dispenser and sentry gun as well as all the other equipment. And the engineer to boot. And they are capping up that point. They've got their pyro on it right now. See that Wood Fox is going behind. He is going to get cleaned up by Verminator, the engineer. 
and Giyom looking real good to go and push right now. They do not have Uber, but it looks as though they're going to give this a shot anyway, folks. Was the engineer equipment on last? There is none yet. Finn just setting up now. And look, this Pyro just wandering in by himself. Going to go down so soon. Well, I don't know what was up with that. Spy getting in position and prototype actually dying to a bite there. And here he is as he pops up over the back. Let's go over his dead ringer. He's going to be able to get the heavy. Excellent work. Is he going to be able to get the... Oh, no, not quite. But that is heavy down, and I'm pretty much sure that's going to be the signal for the blue team. However, they've lost Kieran on the way in. Are you in the server, stop? I am, yes. I also gave Yuki and Hoodie details, so... Choice, set me up what happened. You've already got your details. Get in here! Yeah, I can see that. What? Uh, how many people are in no one yet. <laughs> no one yet, right. Well, forget you. So, random engineer running in by himself. Is he getting desperate? Was that their idea of a suicide? I'm not entirely sure. Umbrella and Jono walking in, though. And Jono getting an amazing reflect. Killing someone just before. And looks like Jono has gone down. But he has managed to force the Uber. Which is possibly what they wanted. So, Scrine's going to start grinding now. Um, I'm really, really surprised no one's gone crits yet. It's just faster when both teams use the Uber at the exact same time. On a map like this, you would expect one of them to go, you'd expect the attacking team to possibly try crits. No, and they're going to get it quicker. Get in there and kill the enemy medic before they can get Uber. And Woodfox is down, BPJ seeing to that. Pyro's just going to walk into the engineer equipment. I don't even know what John I was smoking right now. Look at this, engineer equipment will go down because the, uh, because the, well, the demo just walked in. This is actually interesting, Pit. Seems like one or two blue players just kind of wander in, don't get killed. Though that won't be the case here, I imagine. No, demo's able to walk out as well. Spies in and he's been taken out by Source. Quick sticky. Possibly using his dead ringer. Where will he pop up? Um, yeah, just make sure you give me lots of warning as much as possible, Stike, because I'm going to have to, I just remember, I'm going to have to change up. And it looks like the blue push is coming in. Source and Kieran going down very early. However, they've come in with the Pyro Uber. Uber's not going to last very long, though. It looks like they're just going to jump on the point and air blast anyone who comes, though. This could work. They're all on fire. The Uber has been popped. We've got a blue heavy out the top for coverage. If blue players swarm right now, this is going to be done and dusted. And the Spy... Prototype player is going to land on the point, and that is going to be a round in favor of Getyom. That brings it out to 2-0 on the school. And uh, with the pace of this current game, uh, that is a really, really good start. Only seven minutes into this half, though. Another 23 minutes or so to go. Of course, you're on Graver TV right now, people. This is UGC Highlander, which has just come to Australia. This is only the second week of play. And uh, from what I hear, 26 teams signed up, 13 in play right now. It's a good way to kick off the league. Watching with Pickle over here as he gets taken out. Prototype has also gone down as has Source the demo. Let me just see so much damage. Ribcage, uh, not worrying about honor. He is just getting those body shots, killing them people up. All right, Frey's, uh, Frey's coming in, so... And Frey is in. Righto, folks, we have um, probably the biggest... Um, Oz Fortress Winter League match you're going to see for the next two months on right now. So we're going to duck out of this Highlander match and head on over to watch that. It's going to be a Frenetic Array versus Team Immunity. Uh, much awaited match. They rescheduled at the last moment, meaning we weren't able to catch the end of this Highlander match. Much, much to the, uh, yes, the, the ire of the admin. Mm. Yeah, ire of uh, STI here, who happens to be admin for the uh, for the Division 1 League, and certainly much of the ire of me. Premier! Oh, uh, Premier, sorry. And obviously much the eye of me because I wanted to watch this right now get your are looking good though And I'm gonna grab this STV off uh, Off red rum as soon as possible. And I'm gonna cast the crap out of this game. I can assure you Yeah, I just midi turbo <laughs> oh, Lord. 
So yes, this. So what? 22 minutes left. I will make sure I cast this. If I can't do it tonight, I'm going to do it in the morning. It will be up on YouTube tomorrow, no matter what, folks. I'm going to make sure you can catch the rest of this. Anyway, stay. Uh, hold there. If you are on the stream, we'll be back with our Sixers coverage in just a sec.